So at the end of last year, it was really dry conditions down in Canberra and at Tidbinbilla Nature Reserve. So Taronga was called in to help rescue some platypus from drying creeks in the area. A group from Taronga, myself and Rob Dockra, one of the platypus keepers, went down to Tidbinbilla and we met the staff from the ACT government down there and we decided that we were going to go in and try and rescue the platypus. We knew that the bushfires were coming through in the next few days and we had to work as quickly as possible. Uh, so with UNSW we got out the nets and the tinny and we got in and we managed to save seven platypus from the drying creeks. The platypus were brought here to Taronga and we've been caring for them for four months. Some of them have nearly doubled in weight. They're eating up to 14 yabbies a day and the platypus keepers here have done an amazing job and the platypus are thriving. Part of releasing animals into the wild after bushfire and drought is about monitoring them and making sure that they're surviving and they're happy and also learning about them. So today at Taronga Wildlife Hospital we had the vet from Tidbinbilla and we also had a research scientist from University of New South Wales and our own vet Dr Larry Vogelnest working together as part of a larger platypus research project to learn about platypus in the wild. Together they work to implant acoustic trackers, which will tell us where they go, how they use their habitat, um, how they're interacting with each other, and their movements throughout the day and the night. It's really important to understand how platypus are using their habitat, because we don't know anything about platypus, well very little about platypus, and using these acoustic trackers we will gain so much information about how they socialise, how they move through their environment, when they're foraging, when they're most active, and it will help us learn which habitats are important to platypus as well. So today is a really exciting day uh, to be able to see the first cohort of platypus be released back into the wild at Tidbinbilla. We've had lots of rain and the creeks are full and there's lots of food available and it's been so exciting to see them go back to their home and work with Tidbinbilla and UNSW on this really exciting project.